Welcome back to the Big Ski family. <laughs> We are out here at Smith Rock. Oh my word. I don't know if you see the majestic scenery behind us, but if you're ever in Central Oregon, near Bend, Redmond, or Sisters, get out to a little place called Terrebonne. And it's gorgeous. You get, there's hikes, there's climbing. rock climbing. Oh yeah, yes. all sorts of rock climbing. There's a crooked river that literally runs right behind us in this canyon. It's gorgeous. It's phenomenal world place. World-renowned. Phenomenal place. Yeah, yeah world-renowned hiking and backpacking. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, we're out here and we want to talk to you about five things, okay, I think it's five, maybe it's four, whatever, four and a half things that we notice in working with newlyweds that older couples can learn from. You know, it's like sometimes the younger need to learn from the older, but often we as older married couples can look back and learn from the newlyweds. And we've been doing newlywed coaching and having a newlywed retreat for the last 13 years. And we can't wait, we have an upcoming one in April. And as we're preparing for that, we were thinking of what are those things that we learn from being around these couples every year and it keeps us on our toes or keeps our head in the game. And it was really fun. I think the first one, I'll, I'll start with one, is the way that they are physically connected, okay? Um, Non-sexual touching, grabbing each other's hands, holding each other's hands, walking together, squeezing each other's shoulders, sitting on each other's laps. You don't have to tell a newlywed to stay physically in touch with their spouse. They just come in and you can tell in this room full of people that are married two years or less, they're still very much in love with one another in a physical way, just letting each other know that, hey, we're buds, we're together, you know? Unless you're married to him. Well, no, we're <laughs> newlyweds too. We're only 26 years. That's what, these are some of the things we learn from we them. We have been accused of being newlyweds. Well, we, we learn from <laughs> them because it's important to it keep is. these things alive in your marriage. The other, another one is, I was thinking about how eager they are to learn and grow about in, in marriage. They're so hungry. Yeah. And I go, older couples sometimes lose that hunger. Yeah. Right? They stop learning. Yeah. And it seems like they're open to wanting to challenge their belief system and and they're and they've been in it long enough to know that they need some help and, yes. and encouragement. Yes. And yes. maybe I don't have this all figured out. Yes. So Yeah, there's good. a genuine uh, openness to God's word to like what's it say about marriage what's it say about my biblical role as a husband or my biblical role as a wife or what's it say about children and them being a blessing and what scripture say about some of these things that maybe older couples kind of get locked in on um, what other things do we learn from these newlywed couples we just want to send them to the link we want people to come to the newlywed retreat <laughs> yeah we do want that we do want that um, no but there's more we, we may have already said this but one of the others I really see in them is there's a playfulness in okay. their relationship. It's, it's just this kind of uh, desire to play this flirty, kind of fun, lighthearted spirit that sometimes diminishes as you get married over time. It seems to fade and people, the shine comes off a little bit. And I think the desire to be creative and to be more romantic and to be more thoughtful in a playful way gets put on the back shelf because of children and bills and realities and stress. And you're just playing tired. Playing tired. <laughs> yeah. Playing tired. Not yeah. tired of planes, <laughs> but yeah, playing tired. So anyways, those are some of the areas that we have just loved learning from newlyweds. And if you happen to be married two years or less, we're going to share a link at the end of this video. It's called newlywedcoaching.com. And we do our annual newlywed retreat right here in Sisters, Oregon, which is not far from these beautiful rocks. So if you want to plan an extra day to come explore yeah. God's creation, come do it. But come join us. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal weekend with just newlywed couples that are eager to grow in their marriage and grow in biblical marriage together. It's Friday evening through Sunday lunch. That's right. And uh, anyways, check out the link. If you have questions, email our uh, team member Cheryl will be more than happy to answer any questions and we can't wait to do this. Also, if you know a newlywed, this is a perfect gift for newlyweds. We give this as a gift. Every wedding we go to, we pay for them to get to the newlywed retreat, put them up and bring them here because we feel so confident that it's the most, uh, I'm gonna say it's the greatest gift we can give a newlywed couple is a ability to get away and think about their marriage and get intentional about some planning and thinking about it. So if you know of a couple that you would like to send, 
you can go on the link yourself and you can register for them. Just make sure they can come and whatever, but you can register for them. Um, you can sponsor more than one couple as well. That's right. So. And you don't need to know the couple. Yeah. If you do want to sponsor somebody, you can say, click the link that says sponsor. And it is, we, this is run by a uh, nonprofit called Fortified Families. And it is a 501c3 organization. So you, you will get a tax deduction for giving to see another couple blessed. So yeah. share this with any newlywed couple you think might want to be there. Such a blessing. If you can remember back when you were first married, I don't know if someone had sent to us. We, were, yeah. we weren't that. Yeah. Yeah. We would have loved it yeah. and still would. We still like getting away. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Hope this is helpful. Uh, thank you again for joining us. Again, like, subscribe, share, and again, appreciate you so much. Blessings.